So hello, my name is Juan and my teammate Kalesh. So we are going to be talking about the challenges that we have found with 16 KPA sizes and more. So just to give you a little bit of background, it's like we are bringing up Pixel devices and Android devices with 16 KPA sizes. And then it's like right now we have eight devices running with 16 KPA size. And then we found several issues, right? So one of the issues that we have found is with the CMA allocator. So what it was happening is like when we started bringing up the device, we, re we, uh, we realized that several hardware components that were not working. Like for example, fingerprint, face unlock, they were not working. And the reason that they were not working is because it was not possible to allocate the CMA memory. And then it's like after doing some, some digging, it's like bas uh, basically it's like the CMA like allocator specify some constraints, right? So when you, uh, when you want to reserve memo CMA memory, it ha you have to have a certain alignment, right? And they, basically you have, you, you have to, to have the, okay. the CMA, CMA mean alignment, right? Bytes. So for 4K page sizes, this alignment has to be four megs. But for 16K page sizes, the alignment has to be 32 megs. But it turns out that this, the, the, uh, like these hardware components like the fingerprint, face unlock, they just require like eight megabytes of memory. But in order to make it run in 16K page sizes, we need to reserve it, uh, we need to set the size to 32 megs. So we don't know exactly why uh, there is this constraint like in the CMA allocator. And then we were, I mean, basically it's like, we are looking for ideas like if we can relax these constraints so, and, and if we relax this constraint, what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages? Because it's like we are wasting a lot of memory in devices where, I mean, where they are very constrained in memory. Right? This is one of the issues that we have. And another of the issues that we have is with the prod logs. So it turns out that when when, when we boot the, the device with 16K page sizes, the number of prod logs increased by 20 to 30%. And then we, we don't know exactly why, why we need more logs with 16K page size kernel. So it's something that we need to debug. So if somebody has an idea why this might be happening, why we require more number of logs, it's like we will appreciate it. So. So uh, another issue we faced when we are moving the Android ecosystem to okay. yeah, sorry. Uh, so another issue we face when we are transitioning the ecosystem to use uh, 16K page sizes is firstly we need to change the ELF segment alignment to be compatible with with larger page sizes, and this. Uh, uh, okay, so here I just have a basic uh, il illustration of how the elves get loaded into into the virtual memory. So for each segment, we ha we we align it up to the next page boundary and we map it into different pages so that they can be loaded with uh, different permissions. Since generally the segments have di different per uh, permissions. Uh, in a 16 KB uh, segment aligned ELF on a 16 KB device, it's uh, similar to uh, to what we have in 4K. Uh, we line up the segment size to the next page boundary and we map it into the reserved uh, VA space. But uh, the situation that we have on Android is we have existing devices, so 4 KB devices, which have the 16 KB aligned ELF segments. So in this case, when the loader maps in each segment, we round up the size to the next page boundary. We end up splitting the the reserved VA space that we did for the to map in the elf, and we end up with uh, these extra prod non uh, VMAs, like like Lorenzo was saying, like these guard VMAs uh, in between each segment. In this case, is a file backed. So uh, there are, there are uh, like tens of thousands of these in in Android. And this uh, leads to the VMA area stroke slab increase. Uh, oh, is this so uh, there are 
a couple of options to fix this. One is uh, we can unmap these Protnon uh, VMAs, which has some overhead. And also on Android, uh, we didn't choose to do this because the kernel or can sometimes give you or another mapping which exists in between, unrelated mapping which exists in between consecutive segments of the same of which we found to be strange. So the approach we are taking is we extend the VMA. So similar to what uh, Lorenzo's uh, guard VMAs was doing earlier, the protonon area is included in the uh, preceding VMA. Uh, the permissions are the same. In our case, uh, we, we don't, it's, it's not pro known anymore. Uh, <coughs> there are some issues which arise because of this uh, solution. And one with the first. Yeah, one, once that the extra BMA area was fixed, it's like we came with more issues, right? So bas basically, it's like the problem with that is like several developers, for some reason, it's like they read the cat, they, they, they read prod ID maps to get the, the memory region of the shared libraries, and then they try to read or write on these, on these memory regions, but because they are no file back, what is happening is like the application, they were getting sick boss, right? So the solution that we did is like to compile all the system libraries. We like uh, separate loadable segments so basically it's like what this flag does is add a padding at the end of every segment, and every segment is going to be a, multi, a multiple of page size. So right, uh, so what we achieve is like, oh, every, every part of the file right now is, is uh, when, when we load the segments, they are going to be filed back. So we are not going to get the sick boss. So, so yeah, we, I mean, we fixed that issue, but then they, it, it has this problem. The memory size increase and the file size increase Increase right, and the file size increases like because we were storing all the all, all these padding in the file system, and also it's like when we were loading these like files, it's like the page the size of the page cache increase because it has to map these these padding, right? So what we did to solve that problem is like we made sure that we were using sparse files. So we, we by selecting sparse files. The in the file in the file system, then the, the file it was it was smaller, and when when the files was were loaded, basically the read ahead was ignoring like all these paddings and it was not allocating a page for those for those right. But yeah, so basically it's like that's that, those those are the issues that we were r running into, and then. So as uh, as one mentioned, when uh, when we have the the elf built with the separate loadable segments and we fold into the VMA, and since the VMA is extended to cover this uh, padding padding region also to prevent the slab memory increase, what what happens is uh, in some of the file systems which implements a fold around. Some application developers uh, started to raise complaints that they have uh, so suddenly some RSS increase in their application. And this we found it was due be to be, uh, when the fault around finds the, the pages in the page cache for the padding ranges and it populates the PT for, for, for these uh, pages, then the RSS increase uh, is, is visible to the user's place application. So for the pages that were present in the page cache. Uh, so ideally, we would like some way to, uh, we, we are have some out of street patch to uh, ignore this padding region currently, but I think ideally, if there was a way we could uh, prevent the, the read ahead in the first place from happening in this, this region, the padding region, which we know we, we are never going to use. So I think part of the problem here is going to be getting, we, we have all the information inside the kernel, we just don't have it all in the right place at the right time. So the file system knows where, uh, the, where, where, where the sparse parts of the file are, but we, we, the, the, the flow is to allocate the page, then ask the file system to fill it. Uh, so that's no good. 
Um, you know, read head doesn't know. So the the elf loader knows where the regions are, but do do. I, I wonder if we could have an API for the, the the elf loader could tell the page cache, hey, I know this is a hole. If anyone tries to read it, return the zero page. Do you think that would be a good solution? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. And yeah, as you mentioned in the elf file, we already have in the header all this information, like where the segments are. So it's like, and with that information, we can easily find out where the paddings are. So we don't care about the paddings. Yeah. So I, 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 perhaps I should, ask, I should ask a bigger question, which is, is anyone, I mean, literally anyone in the room, does anyone in the room have a use case other than this for, I want to handle sparse files more efficiently? I'm seeing, I, David, David has an example. I'm sorry that I have to talk all of the time, but uh, <laughs> for RudoMem, uh, there, there are use cases where you might have shared files among multiple processes and you would actually want to catch access to holes. You wouldn't want to allocate memory. You would have to find a way to just give a sick bus or whatever, um, similar to if it would be Prodnon. But I don't, I don't want to use poison remedy Unpoison. I don't want to like write to gigabytes of page table data just to say it's a whole. And ideally, if I'm in the main process, I can say, well, this is now, this is now uh, like no longer whole. I want it to just like work for everything. M share might be a reasonable thing to do, but that would not be on the file level. It would be on the shared page table layout level. So it sounds like you want something that's subtly different from what they want, because what they want is, is for reads to return zeros. And if it's M maps, then they want the zero page. And if and, and writes to it won't ever happen because I mean obviously it's VM exec, it's you know, it's not it's not writable anyway. But it, it, um, do, do we really want a, a zero page? I mean the shared zero page is one thing it's gonna be difficult to share it's, do we actually not want to allocate memory on read? Is, is that what we want? We don't, don't we want to allocate disk blocks on read? Is that what you're saying? Uh, we, we, we wouldn't allocate disk blocks on read anyway. That, that, that's not something the file system would do. Uh, if, you, if you do a read to a hole in the file system, the semantic is that that stays as a hole and the file system calls memset in order to turn the page cache page into a zero page. Into a, sorry, into a page full of zeros as opposed to being a zero mm. page. Um, but it sounds like what you want is actually different. You want something that will fault if anyone tries to access that page. Yeah, but okay. re reading Let's zero talk about that is not as part of this talk. Re reading zeros would be okay, but as soon as you would write and you could end up allocating disk blocks, then I I don't want to waste memory. I don't want to give a process the ability to allocate ranges in a file that it's not supposed to touch. Okay. Let's let let let's continue. Like that F, F, F allocate would work, but not like using page faults. Okay. All right. Thanks. Does anyone else have? Oh, Ahant does. Good. Just about this point, um, I would note that this this is an existing problem because everybody who has an any ARM64 binary that is not Android already has sparse files. The only reason why you noticed it is that it caused a regression for you. So it, it changed for you, but everybody else was already in the bad case. So if we optimize it, everybody benefits. Because Android was the only thing that had the 4K alignment on ARM64. Okay. I, 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 I think I have a solution that we can work to, to say this, this is a whole. We know it's a whole. Treat it as a whole. I think we're good. And uh, what David was saying, presumably the poison remedy feature would also have this problem if extended to far, far back VMAs since, since it's in the, you still need the enclosing VMA for your. No? So we have one minute left, so. And in regards to the CMA allocator, does anybody know why we have like these constraints about the alignment? Like because if we, if we want to allocate just Amex yeah. of reserve memory, in a 16K kernel, like we cannot do it. Like we have to allocate 32 megs. I, I think it's tied to how page blocks are sized based on max order. 
we would have to make them more granular for larger page sizes, I guess. Because it's like for six, I mean, for sixty-four k page sizes, it's like it's even like I, I, I think that it's one hundred and twenty-eight megabytes. Yeah, like right now, Power defines. Page page block size different from max order, so ARM sixty four can just hook up to the same functionality. So I guess we have to wrap up. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.